Hello taskers, hello Instacart shoppers, hello Lyft and Uber drivers, welcome. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Jalo Adams, aka the Gig Economy Guru. I just wanted to talk in detail about uh, uh, Thumbtack really quickly. Just a quick update, if you will, on Thumbtack. Um, first of all, I want to start off and say Thumbtack is... Uh, very good platform if you're a professional and you're trying to get your business out there. Um, now, on to the bad news about Thumbtack. What I could surmise from Thumbtack is that uh, Thumbtack seems to be very money grabbish, for lack of a better word, very scammy. And the reason why that is, is based off of my personal experiences. So, number one, uh, I have had uh, a customer service representative from Thumbtack reach out to me and ask me for a payment of $300 just so I can use as credit towards Thumbtack. Um, they, they said it's going to help me really like promote my business. It's really going to get me to get more leads and stuff like that. Ultimately, no, it wasn't going to help me get that many leads. Thank God I didn't pay for it, but it almost seemed scammy. When I first heard about it, I thought it was some sort of like internet or phone scam or something. You know, we live in the age of scams. But anywho, I know it wouldn't have worked because there have been multiple times where I have paid for leads from Thumbtack, but unfortunately, Thumbtack didn't really give me the business that I wanted. I have so far gotten three jobs from Thumbtack which is good. Most of them paid really good money. However, I have paid over $100 to Thumbtack for jobs that I didn't even get. Most of the money that I spent were for jobs that I never got. And it was just a waste of money. And then they have somebody from Thumbtack trying to get you to spend as much money as possible so, like, so that you can help yourself. No, no. I, I know what you're doing, Thumbtack. You just want to help yourselves. You want to put more money in your pockets. Shame on you. I feel like that's pretty bad practice with uh, professionality when it comes to business because ultimately these professionals are looking for a way to put out their business, but you're making money off of the professionals. And frankly, I feel as though that's very scumbaggish. So I feel like that needs to change. Another thing that Thumbtack does, what I noticed, is that if you do not pay Thumbtack the money that you owe them for the leads that you get, by, which by the way, even if you don't get the job, you still have to pay money for those leads. So it's pretty much basically paying for information. Might as well buy a newspaper. But anyway, if you don't pay them that money, then... What they'll do is they'll start sharing more leads with you. Ever since I've been on Thumbtack, I rarely ever get notifications for jobs. That is until I owe Thumbtack money. When I owe Thumbtack money, they start sharing multiple, multiple jobs with me saying, oh, this person needs a job here. This person needs a job here. I thought it was just my imagination at first, but then I was like, wait a minute, like, this has happened on more than one occasion. And even with my brother, he has attested that it's happened with him too. And even with one of my friends. So, I feel as though um, Thumbtack is very about just getting their money. They're not out to help anybody. Even with TaskRabbit, um, you, you don't really see that from them. Like, ultimately, it seems like they're trying to help you get as many jobs as possible because if you win as a professional, then they win. So, Thumbtack, just just to surmise everything and you know make my point, um, if Thumbtack made their platform in a way where all the professionals got a job every single time they paid for a lead, then it would be way better. But as of right now, I feel like Thumbtack doesn't really care. They don't care about... No, as a matter of fact, I know they don't care about the professionals. And that's a problem. And it has to be fixed. So, just to surmise, don't ask people for money 
especially when you when you say it's going to help them and ultimately it's not going to help them. And number two, don't start showing people leads as soon as they owe you money. If you show them more leads more often, maybe they will be on there. It's very schemish. It's almost like what casinos do whenever they try to get people to come back and play games. They give you the idea that you may win big from this one game, which gets you to come back. Thumbtack basically uses the exact same scheme as casinos. Um, one other thing, just as a warning, for those who are on Thumbtack and use the platform, uh, watch out for additional scammers on the platform. Um, just yesterday, I had a person inquire to me about a cleaning job. She said that she runs this cleaning company, and she said she would sign me up for for this for this cleaning company or whatever, and she would give me the leads. All I had to do was sign a couple of contracts and stuff like that, and I automatically worked for the company. Now, this all sounded promising at first, but the problem was was that she when she sent me the documentation, she also had a document asking for my social security card, or excuse me, social security number and or employee identification number. If you're a independent contractor and somebody is hiring you on a part-time basis, nobody just sends a, a paper to you through email saying, oh, you have to sign up and put your social security number and everything. Yes, jobs do that, but I have never heard of this company for one, and for another, it was based out in Florida. So, she wanted me to give me her, or excuse me, she wanted me to give her my social security number without any information. I did research on the company and something just didn't add up. It just didn't feel right. She was adamant about getting my information. As soon as I said I was okay, then she stopped hitting me up completely. So just remember you guys, watch out for these scams. We live in an age where scams are... Um, they're they're almost uh, omnipotent. I mean, it's constant. Like somebody's always trying to get somebody, especially now in the world where more entrepreneurs are starting their own business. Now scammers see that as an opportunity to make money off of us. So just be very careful about that. But anyway, you guys, that's my PSA, my TED talk, if you will. Um, I had to go to sleep so I can start doing Uber in the morning. You know, the hustle never ends. But anyway, it was good talking to you guys. I'm going to come back with another video talking about TaskRabbit again because it's been a minute. But anyway, have a good night. See you guys next time. Take it easy.